I'm going to be talking to an Ethiopian Israeli Messianic Jew. He's going to reveal some incredible things that you need to know about regarding what the Lord is doing here in Jerusalem in the Holy Land. But before I introduce him, I just got to tell you guys where I'm at. I am at the oldest tattoo shop in the world. This place has been here since the 1300s, okay? And they do uh, ancient tattoos that are kind of like pilgrimage tattoos. I know some of you guys freak out about tattoos, but I don't care. I'm going to own it. I just got a tattoo. Maybe I'll show you later in the stream if you want to see it. And uh, they're a, a, a Palestinian Christian family that have been here multi-generationally doing these like pilgrim tattoos. And it's incredible. Uh, they have these stencils because back in the day you couldn't you know, make copies of stuff. And so they got these stencils and the stencils allow you to uh, uh, keep track of them. Let's, let's peek inside real quick. Let's peek inside, hopefully they don't trip. So here's the, some of their ancient, super cool artwork, man. This is incredible. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And then, can I squeeze behind you? And then let's get a shot of these stencils. Look at the stencils. So the stencils, so I'm about to get one of these stencils right here. The stencils is how they transfer the tattoos. Excuse me, the stamps is how they transfer the tattoos on the stencil and then do the tattoo. Let's go outside and talk to this Messianic Jew. It's going to blow your mind. I'm going to introduce you guys to him. So we're by the Jaffa Gate, by the way. So this is my friend, Emmanuel. He's a worship leader from Tel Aviv, this area, and he is a, uh, a worship leader and a yes. family's originally from Ethiopia. Where's Ethiopia. Hold the mic up just a little bit. Uh, yep. Ethiopia. Okay, yeah. Ethiopia. And you are a Christian. Yeah. How did yeah. families are Ethiopian Jews, yeah. but you converted and became a Messianic Jew? Yeah. Tell me your story a bit. The thing is, my parents came from Ethiopia, Jews that believe that Yeshua is the Messiah of Israel and all the nations around. Uh, which that means that there, there are Gentiles that believe in Yeshua and there are Jews that believe in Yeshua. Actually, Yeshua was the Messiah of both. Mm. And the thing is that I don't need to be converted to anything else. I'm a Jew that believes in Yeshua mm -hmm. and it doesn't change my identity as a Jew. Because in Israel, you know, if you say that you can do anything that you want to do, mm -hmm. you can believe in every God, other God, you can do anything. But if you say the word Jesus yeah, yeah, sure, or Yeshua, yeah, yeah. oh, they say, no, you are not longer a Jew or anything like that, But mm -hmm. which is false, actually. Yeshua is the Messiah the of Messiah. the Jewish people. He fulfilled the prophecies. He, he did anything, you know, he died for our sins, rose again, and he proved that he is the Messiah of Israel and all the nations. That's amazing. Now, your parents came over here how long ago? How long ago? My parents came in the year of 90 to Israel. Okay. And 1990? From, yeah, 1990. Okay, and you were born here? I was born here in the year of 2000, yeah. Wow. Okay, and so how did you come to believe in Yeshua and put your faith Yeshua, in Yeshua? Yeah, so um, in Ethiopia, my grandfather, he was a Jew, um, nothing about Yeshua, and then somebody came to him and evangelized to him. And actually, um, he forwarded that to his children, of course, and most of my family from the side of my mom, um, they don't believe in Yeshua, but my mom did and they came to Israel and, you know, they taught us. So I, I think that my story is like grace upon grace. Since childhood, I was in the house of the Lord mm. in, in, in His grace only. Wow. And since then, I've just got revealed to me that yeah. He is the, the real God. He is the Messiah of Israel and all the world. Yeah. yeah. Guys, smash that like button one time if you're in the chat, you're enjoying this conversation with Emmanuel. Now, something really cool about Emmanuel, we're going to get into more of his story, but something you guys need to know about Emmanuel is he's actually a worship leader with international presence. Like, for real, for real. Tell us a little bit about what you do with music. Yeah, I'm, I'm so thankful to God that I'm, it's, it is a possibility to bring, to bring back the Hebrew language and to sing in Hebrew, you know, just taking taking the songs from the Old Testament, from the book of Psalms, and actually singing the words of King David in Hebrew, and just blessing all, all over the world. I have one video online already, and I'm just going to release more music, yeah. but it's so awesome just to sing, yeah. you know, going and actually singing the words that King David sang. Wow. Now, you, you also, you're, you're, you're big on Instagram. you got about 10K on Instagram, yeah. but you're really booming on TikTok, right? Yeah. And what do you do on TikTok? I, I do just, like, share my life as an Israeli, share, share, um, my faith and share, you know, different holy sites from Israel. I've just been to the tabernacle down in southern Israel where you have actually a full, full, fully built uh, tabernacle. 
exact same thing according to like the a replica, size. right? Yeah, replica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So huge. I've been there and like I should bless others by making a video. Yeah. Upload it and people around the world just loved it. Yeah. You know? So Israel is amazing place for our faith. Now, something I found out that blew my mind yeah. is that Israel is the only place in the Middle East where Christians aren't leaving. They're actually increasing. Yes. It's growing. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what the Lord is doing here mm. with the community. Yeah. I know a lot about the growing of the Jewish community in Israel, the Messianic Jewish community, which are, if you look 30 years ago, 40 years ago, there were like a few hundreds mm -hmm. of believers, a small percentage. And actually today, since the years go by, the veil is going off from the, the, the Israelis, the, the Jewish, Jewish nation, and more and more um, Israelis come to faith. And actually today you have around 30,000 people wow. that believe in Yeshua, that he is the Messiah. Huh. Wow, that's cool. And, so, and he was, dude, he was giving me so much game about the Orthodox community, about uh, the, the Torah and the oral Torah and the distinguishment between the two communities. Can you break some of that down for me? Yeah, sure thing. Today, actually, most of the Israel, if you knew or didn't knew, don't believe in Yeshua. Not yet. And Not yet. Amen. Yeah. And it's because they have a veil on their eyes. The prophets talks about this a lot. And, and we have hope that one day it's gonna be get gonna be the veil is gonna be turned off, and the thing is one of the things that not, not many of us know that yes the Jewish here the Orthodox Jew believes in the Torah they believe in the Old Testament and of course they don't they don't accept the New Testament but they have another thing that's called the Oral Torah. The oral Torah never yeah. just blew my mind. Yeah, this is like a new tradition that came from the Pharisees that they added that after Yeshua came, because when Yeshua came, Jesus came to this world, it changed mm -hmm. everything, right? You don't need sacrificial any, anything else, like the temple was destroyed. Jesus changed everything. And of course, they wanted to keep their power, their money, everything to themselves. So they needed to invent something new. Mm. So actually a few hundred later. For a hundred years after Christ. After Christ, yeah. you know, it, the New Testament was written um, before that. They wrote something that called the Oral Torah, which they claim came all the way since the time of mm -hmm. Moses. That Moses had a separate yeah, Torah, almost. yeah, and, and received two Torah, like the Old Testament, uh -huh. and received also the Oral tradition, uh -huh. which we, as we say, we don't believe. But it's so interesting that yeah. because because of that Oral Torah, their veil is still on. You can they see they don't see Yeshua as the yeah, Messiah, and they have stories about Yeshua. Some. Um, like we say today, fake news about about Jesus in yeah. that Torah. I mean, they say they they say that he was somebody that he was a rabbi was teaching him mm -hmm. and some stuff like that, which is not true. But it, it's it's a big deal because if you understand that the oral Torah is not right, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Jews gonna then then the, the Old yeah. Testament prophecies yeah. everything clicks and makes it, sense. It, you read Isaiah, yeah. you read all the passages, yeah. the prophecies, and they're all fulfilled yeah. in Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, because if you only look in the, new, in the Old Testament and you read, for instance, the most, um, you must know this, if you are a Jew and watching this and you don't believe in Yeshua yet, go to Isaiah chapter 53 and read about the servant of the Lord mm. that is going to come. So, um, you know, they twist it and they take it and mm. make it, um, that sh sh it should not make a sense. But if you go to the Old Testament and read it mm -hmm. with a clean heart, I believe that God is going to reveal to you by the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guys, make sure you smash that like button. I want you guys to check out my buddy Emmanuel. And let me know if you like this conversation, what questions you have for him. Um, he's uh, in Tel Aviv, so we might see him tomorrow, believe it or not. So if you guys got some questions, maybe we'll have him back on. Tell him where they can find you, your handles, all that good stuff. All right, guys, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Emmanuel with the E, one M, R O R O, Roro, Emmanuel Roro. Look me up. Thank you. Emmanuel is going to take us to get some authentic Israeli food here in Old Jerusalem. But if you want to see a video yesterday where I talked to an Armenian uh, who grew up in Jerusalem, multi-generational, and what he believes God is doing here, make sure to click this video over here. I think one, me or Zach will add it. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out. Peace.